Deftones, Passenger, Standard Tuning Method, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play all the different sections right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through and give the full explanation for everything. Do me a big favor, hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and you want to see more stuff by Deftones. And now, let's get on into it. <laughs> All right, so once again, this is a standard tuning method for playing this song. All right, we're only gonna you know, sacrifice a couple spots really for that drop C tuning. Um, for the most part, this song's actually an E, the key of E, so uh, it actually works out pretty easy. And this main riff, especially, uh, we're just jamming out on E, and we're going between you know open, low E notes here. It's kind of one, one, two, one, two. All right, and then we're gonna come down to the D and hit uh, fifth fret. All right, so, so it's a G note, and this will make it you know, part of like an E minor overall. So we hit that, come back, hit one more open low E, and then come back down and hit two of those fives again. Okay, and you wanna try to silence that low E string as you're going in between the strings. Make it kind of choppy sound in there. And uh, basically we're gonna keep that, that E, the low E just rolling just the same. We're just gonna shift, you know, the D string note. And, uh, you know, from the five, then we just go to the third fret, do everything the same. And this is, you know, kind of an E flat nine deal here. Uh, just once there, and then we'll finish at the second fret of the D. And this is just part of a like an E5 power chord here. And this one we do twice. So just try it all. And now with this uh, break section, it's you know really just bass doing this, and the bass is in a drop tuning as well. Um, but uh, if we're just looking for something to play here, you know, just some basic chords to just put over the top of this um, subtly, you know, we're just doing uh, basically come off to an open E power chord, just you know, chilled out. All right, then it just goes to a G power chord. To a D, so we do it five A seven on the D and G. All right, and then just finishes at a F power chord at the first fret here. In the pre-chorus section, where everything gets really big again, and uh, this is kind of where we lose, you know, that that low C drop tune note. Um, not a huge deal. Um, we're just kind of strumming away on a C suspended second now. And uh, this voicing here works pretty well for this where uh, we'll just be three on the A and do the five on the D and G and then have the threes on the B and E under it. And this, like I said, we're just strumming away on it like eighth notes, pretty dynamic. All right, 
we strum it out like eight times and do that twice, so I guess 16 altogether, uh, something in that neighborhood. And uh, after that, then we do this quick back and forth with like a C minor back to that C suspended second. And all we really need to do is just, you know, hit that four on the B and just pull it back off to the three on the B. All right, and we just crank that thing out four times. And you just finish the whole thing, dropping down and doing a couple of dynamic hits on an F power chord here at the first fret. The interlude section, uh, this is where you get those dynamic strums, like those kind of almost staccato strums here. And it's just kind of working through each, you know, variant of those E chords that we have. And, uh, you know, the initial one, it's just an E power chord here. So the open low E with the 2A, two 2D, two it's just bop, 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 bop. All right, and it just cuts, right? And uh, the next spot, we just kind of stay there, but now we include the open G string with that. All right, so it makes like E minor. All right, and you kind of want to make sure you hit that open G clear so you can hear the, the change there. All right, and now we'll just switch to this E flat nine thing where, you know, it's like our regular power chord, but we make that D a three. Keep the two A in the open low E. Same thing here, four strums. All right, then we'll just finish on E power chord again, just twos with the open. But with this, at the very end there, we want to do this uh, bend of a D note, all right? And we're going to have to do it here. Since we're in standard, we just come up to five on the A and just give that a bend. All right, and for the outro, we have this, you know, cool little piano riff that's happening. And uh, we could play it here pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. Um, we just start here at the five on the B. Okay, nice clean piano vibe there. And then uh, drop down to the E, we go seven, eight, seven. And then come up to the eight on the B. And then drop back to the high E and repeat that seven, eight, seven. And then we just loop it from there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.